Welcome to the next part of your Touch Care Nano journey. In this lesson, we'll explore the parts and buttons of the pump, walk you through the home screen and main menu of both the PDM and the Easy Patch app, and share some key tips to remember. By the end of this section, you'll have a clearer understanding of how the pump operates using either the PDM or the Easy Patch app. There are two versions of the Touch Care Nano Pump, 200 units and 300 units. While we'll focus on the 200 units Touch Care Nano Pump, the 300 units patch pump looks and works very similarly. 1. Parts and buttons on the pump The Touch Care Nano Insulin Patch Pump is made up of two main parts. A disposable insulin reservoir patch that you'll change about every three days and a small reusable pump base that can be reused for up to four years. The pump base stores your insulin settings and communicates with the Easy Patch app or PDM via Bluetooth, with a range of up to 4 meters, approximately 13 feet, when there are no obstructions. The disposable reservoir patch includes an insulin reservoir that can be filled through the fill port, an insulin delivery mechanism, a built-in battery, a buzzer, an adhesive patch to attach it to the skin, and a needle insertion system secured with a safety lock. Once the pump base is attached to the reservoir patch, the 200 units Touch Care Nano Insulin Pump measures just 4 by 3 cm and weighs only 13.8 grams, making it the smallest and lightest insulin patch pump available. 2. PDM Home Screen and Main Menu When you turn on the PDM, the home screen appears with a status bar at the top showing the battery level, any recent alerts, the current time, audio settings, and the status of the Bluetooth connection to the pump. In the center of the screen, you'll see the current glucose value along with a trend arrow, the amount of insulin on board, the current insulin delivery status, current basal rate, and how much insulin remains in the reservoir. Just below that, a graph displays your glucose levels over the past three hours. A colored ring surrounds the glucose value to show what kind of insulin delivery is active. A gray indicates that no pump is currently connected. Green ring indicates basal delivery. Dark green shows a temporary basal rate. Blue means a normal bolus is being given. Purple represents an extended bolus. And red signals that insulin delivery is paused. If you swipe from right to left on the home screen, the main menu will appear. This menu includes icons for bolus, basal settings, suspending insulin delivery, patch management, sensor data, history, events, easy loop, and general settings. Swiping in the opposite direction, from left to right, takes you to the pump status screen, where you can view more detailed information about your current insulin delivery. 3. Easy Patch App Home Screen and Main Menu The Easy Patch app can be downloaded on most iPhones and Android phones. To check if your phone works with the app, go to medtrim.com slash compatibility. You can find the app by searching Medtrim in the App Store or Google Play. When you open the Easy Patch app for the first time, you'll be asked to either register or log into your Medtrim account. The home screen is designed to give you a clear overview of your current status. At the top, you'll see a status bar with quick access to the main menu, any recent alerts, and a shortcut to the detailed status screen. Just below that, there's a second bar with icons showing your audio settings, the Bluetooth signal strength to the pump, the amount of insulin remaining, the easy loop function, and the Bluetooth signal strength of the transmitter if a sensor is connected. In the center of the screen, the app displays your current glucose value, complete with a trend arrow, the amount of insulin on board, your current insulin delivery, and the current basal rate. A glucose graph just below shows how your levels have changed over the past 3, 6, and 12 hours. Surrounding the glucose value is a colored ring that reflects the type of insulin delivery currently active. A green ring means basal delivery is running, dark green shows a temporary basal rate, blue indicates a normal bolus is in progress, purple stands for an extended bolus, red means insulin delivery has been paused, and gray indicates that no pump is currently connected. Just beneath the glucose graph, there are four quick access icons, Suspend Resume, Bolus, Enter BG, and Events. By tapping the hamburger icon at the top of the screen, you'll open the main menu, 
From here you can navigate to Monitor, CGM, Insulin Delivery, Statistics, Events, Easy Loop, Reminders, Settings, or Alerts. Tapping the information icon, the little I in the top bar, will take you to the status screen, where you can view detailed information about your insulin patch pump and CGM. Finally, if you tap on the glucose graph, you can explore your glucose statistics for a specific day and even switch to landscape mode for a more detailed view of the data. 4. Do's and Don'ts The TouchCare Nano Pump is waterproof to a depth of 2.5 meters or 8 feet for up to 60 minutes. Metrum provides a standard spare pump base in case of failure, offering users extra peace of mind. If you need to clean a pump base, gently wipe it with a clean damp cloth or you can use an alcohol wipe to clean the surface. Let it air dry before connecting it to a new patch. Keep the pump and PDM or phone within 4 meters or 13 feet and remove any obstacle between them. If your PDM or phone disconnects, don't worry. The pump keeps delivering basal insulin according to the selected program. If you're using the PDM, Remember to adjust the time on the pump manually when traveling or when the clocks change. It doesn't do it automatically. Note, you cannot adjust the time while there is an active patch. You'll need one small extra hardware item, the needle eject tool. When removing the pump, insert the tool into the needle retraction hole to safely retract the steel cannula before taking the pump off. And there you have it. You now know all the parts and buttons of the TouchCare Nano Pump, PDM, and Easy Patch app. Stick around. Next up, we'll show you how to set your insulin delivery settings.